name is Ed Rush, five-time number one best-selling author and former F-18 fighter pilot. I'm here today with my friend Mark Skousen. Let me just give you a little bit of background about Mark, and then we're going to talk about uh, the United States of America, our country, the future, what it means to be a free thinker, uh, and how to flat out change the world if you want to. We're going to cover all those topics in this really short interview, which is going to move fast and furious and is going to be a blast. Listen, uh, Mark has been voted one of the top 20 economists in the world. He's got a track record for proving things right when it comes to uh, economics. In fact, he started uh, way back uh, by a big pronouncement on Reaganomics back in the 80s, uh, and he's been going strong uh, ever since then. Uh, Mark has a very interesting background. He's actually worked for the government in the CIA. He's worked for nonprofits, and he's worked uh, for businesses like ours, which are uh, for-profit businesses. So he's quite familiar with the landscape, both politically and economically. Uh, he's written for the Wall Street Journal, Forbes, Christian Science Monitor, been on just about every TV station that you know, from uh, Fox to CBNBC and more. Uh, most importantly to today's discussion, he's the founder of an event called Freedom Fest, which is in July uh, in Las Vegas. Uh, and it is uh, called the biggest collection of free thinking minds on the planet. It has thousands of people that come and join him uh, every summer. Mark, thanks for joining me. I'm super excited to chat with you today. Thank you, Ed. And you know, you mentioned free minds, and that's our subtitle of uh, Freedom Fest. It's the world's largest gathering of free minds. And it's amazing how many free thinkers there are out there. <laughs> you know, we live in a world uh, where, at least on the surface, you know, the media has done an amazing job, uh, not a good job, but they've done an amazing job of really dividing our country and limiting our conversations in certain cases to little sound bites or 140 character uh, text. But, you know, I speak around the world just like you do, and I meet some of the best thinkers in the world. Like, for example, I just did two events in the cryptocurrency space, and these folks that do Bitcoin and Litecoin and have blockchain technology, they think a lot differently than the media teaches us to think. What do you think uh, is, the, is the key for having a free-minded thinking uh, and for open dialogue, which I think is so important? Well, I've, Ed, I think the number one thing is that you don't compartmentalize, that you don't label people immediately. We are living in a society, especially the media, really wants to divide people, as you said, into left and right and liberal and conservative or whatever you want to label people. But these are divisive terms and often they're very pejorative. Yeah. And they're meant to demonize you. And even in the crypto space, uh, you, you had a, a Warren Buffett and, and Charlie Munger uh, calling uh, people, uh, you know, that this is uh, dirt crap. Uh, so, you know, some, some term that would make you say, oh, well, maybe I better not be involved in, in that sort of thing. And uh, if we truly believe as free thinkers, and I believe in individualism, if we truly believe in individualism, then you are an individual. I am an individual. And so let's, I know it's easy, it's convenient to label people, but let's try to use terminology that everyone would be, would find acceptable. And so I don't use the term left, for example, and referring to people who I think are enemies of liberty. I might call them social Democrats. That's an acceptable term to both of them. Yeah. And then we can get into the issues. So we talk about problems. This is what we do at Freedom Fest. We don't want to say, oh, you are left or you are right. But what is the best solution? It's what is the best solution? Not who is right, but what is right is the objective that we have at Freedom Fest. And it's been a very successful formula. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you that I always give this talk at the beginning of Freedom Fest, and I tell people, let's treat everyone as individuals, let's be civil, and uh, it often just goes out the window, and suddenly they're labeling everybody, and uh, it's, it's always an uphill battle. But I, I would end this little uh, uh, polemic by quoting Ronald Reagan, uh, my favorite president of the 20th century, who said, uh, there's no left or right, there's only up or down. Mm, interesting. Well, and... That was an interesting era. So I remember I was in um, I was in grade school actually in the eighties, uh, and we had this sense where it was really us against them. And by us, what I mean is the United States of America. And by them, I mean like communist, the communist world everywhere, especially Russia. We lost that, uh, and then we kind of turned inward as a country and just started deciding to battle each other. But I think you're right. You know, um, someone once came up to me and asked me the my opinion 
about a single president. I won't mention who because it doesn't matter who. Uh, and they said, what's your opinion of this president? And I just said, you know, that's in my mind a, a question that's destroying our country because if you take the swath of issues, and I was at one point thinking about running for Senate, I had a, a binder this big on the issues. And if you take the swath of issues and the hundreds, literally hundreds of issues, and you ask the average person from issue to issue to issue based on their belief system, their faith, their values, their education, their upbringing, where they were born, uh, what it happened to them as they were growing up, uh, they'll have a different opinion from issue to issue to issue. But for some reason, uh, we've been trained and as a nation uh, to just put ourselves in one camp. And like you said, what it ends up doing is going, okay, everything they do is bad and everything they do is good. And it's really not uh, that simple. It's, frankly, it's more complicated. And so at Freedom Fest, I, I think it's amazing. You have actual debates there. You have people who have conversations about real issues. We've lost that uh, as a nation as well. How are you able to bring together those folks from both sides to really talk about and wrestle important issues? Well, it is a, uh, a deliberate action that we take to bring together uh, diff differing views. Uh, we're famous for our debates. And frankly, I, I created Freedom Fest because I wanted a conference that I would enjoy going to. <laughs> and I love debates. I love the academic, the, the intellectual uh, pursuit of uh, uh, various uh, of history, uh, the, what we call a liberal arts education. And that's what Freedom Fest is for three days. Uh, and we're looking for best solutions. Uh, uh, we're looking to learn, you know, how often do we go to a conference to learn or do we just tell, well, I'm going to the conference because I want to give a speech, I want to get paid, and then I'm out of there. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve Forbes uh, and John Mackey of Whole Foods Market are our co-ambassadors, and they have a very open-minded. They're there all three days, which is mm -hmm. really cool. In other words, uh, Steve Forbes says, uh, I want to be there. I want to be a participant. Uh, John Mackey says, I love the debates. So we have the debates on philosophy and history and science and technology. And it's tough. You know, if you have a debate on global warming, do you <laughs> demonize the other side? Do you shout out and yell at them? Uh, we try to avoid, uh, you know, we have actual uh, uh, debates uh, where we, it's a formal debate because we don't like people talking over each other, right. which you see on all the media, you can hardly get a word in edgewise because somebody is yelling right. back at you while you're speaking. And we also have a mock trial, by the way, Ed, that is that every year we put capitalism on trial, we put um, the Republican Party on trial, we put public unions on trial, religion on trial. Um, we, we have pu the public schools on trial, and uh, so we put together uh, a judge, a prosecuting and defending attorney, star witnesses, and a jury of our peers. So uh, we select 12 people out of the uh, audience who say they're objective. And then it's majority rule. And it is our most popular session is this mock trial that we have every year. So uh, if you haven't seen it, if your viewers haven't seen it, you're in for a treat. So, and by the way, in the link in this description of the video or in the post <clears throat> for this video, there is a link for Freedom Fest. There's also a little button, a little coupon code that you can use uh, if you want to. So I wanna get back into this idea of uh, thought and debate. Um, <clears throat> for me, the biggest shift in my thinking regarding our, our country was when I radically changed my viewpoint on a certain issue, I won't mention which one it is, on a certain political issue uh, while sitting in my chair, I have a chair in my office that I, I spend about a 30 minutes a day at least just thinking. I did it this morning from about 7.30 to 8. Uh, and as I was thinking, I was wrestling over this issue. Uh, and it had to do with the security of our nation. And I was in the military for years. Uh, and I just changed my mind, <laughs> actually, like, like that uh, on an issue. And I saw it from a completely different perspective. Uh, how often do you have people uh, that come to your event that see things from a different perspective and really are educated on something that they thought that they knew everything about. Well, one of our most popular sessions is on health care and uh, healthy, healthy living uh, generally. So there are several examples of that. Uh, John Mackey, of course, uh, has written a book called The Whole Foods Diet, and he's a vegan, and uh, he, he has a standing room only uh, crowd every year talking about the whole foods diet and how to avoid uh, uh, all the, the major problems of disease and cancer and, and uh, 
uh, all, all, you know, heart attacks and all that sort of thing. And I still remember these two individuals who both stood up totally unsolicited and said, uh, John uh, Mackey, what you told me a year ago, I followed, I feel healthier. I wow. have just totally changed my life. Uh, we also had a session one time on healthcare, how to create your own healthcare uh, services so you don't have to wait in line, so you don't have to depend on the government. And oh, you could not believe <laughs> the response to that. People were anxious to take their health care in their own hands and not have to depend on Medicare and Obamacare and uh, Trump care, whatever is developing to not depend on the government, to depend on yourself uh, and uh, not have to wait in line and not have to pay a huge premium on your medical insurance, all of those things. So we're geared toward solution oriented. And the other thing that is really cool about Freedom Fest is that uh, you create your own conference because we have like 10 breakout sessions. Uh, we have our general sessions, but then we have our breakout sessions. And so there's a talk, there's something for everybody. In fact, we have the Anthem Film Festival there. And I, I'm always amazed the number of people who come to a conference to meet people, but no, they're in, they're in the theater watching a, 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 a documentary or a narrative and uh, we get huge crowds for our, our film festival. So, this is the cool thing about Freedom Fest is uh, you're never bored. There's always something to do. And that's important because how often have we been to conferences where, oh. just, you know, we're outside trying to meet with somebody because the, the, the topic that one person is going on and on about, it doesn't interest us. It's amazing what you've brought together. And again, I've been to conferences that were mainly all pol about politics. I've been to conferences that are about economics or investing or business. Uh, or social media, but really you've brought those together in an, in an amazing way uh, and brought some of the smartest minds on the planet together. You know, I mentioned the, the crypto folks, blockchain, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and those folks. Uh, the reason I like hanging out with them, uh, other than the ideas I get uh, economically, <clears throat> is they have ideas for the future that really uh, can change things. Uh, and your group that you've brought together uh, does that as well. So, I just want to um, pause real quick and just tell you as you're watching this video, we're just about to wrap up, uh, but in the description and also either in the description or on the post uh, for this video, there's a link for this event called Freedom Fest. Now, it's not a free event. It's not uh, thousands of dollars either. It's, I believe, very affordable, but there is an investment uh, to make in yourself. There is a trip to take as well, but you know what? It's in Las Vegas, so uh, it's mm -hmm. actually not that bad of a place to go and you can get in and out direct probably on Southwest from wherever you come to. <clears throat> but here's my opinion. Uh, Jim Rohn said that you're the sum of the five people that you spend the most amount of time with. And when I heard that uh, one line, uh, I realized I needed to find some new friends. <laughs> and I did. I went out and I went to events and I met some really abundance-minded, heart-centered entrepreneurs, people who are intent on changing the world. And you know, I kind of was a little bit bummed out. I was a little bit frustrated and maybe a little bit depressed. And if you're reading the news right now and you're feeling that way, you're feeling like the world is becoming out of control, uh, you need to get with some folks who have a vision for the future and want to make a change. And so I would highly encourage you to register for the event. I certainly will be there. I'll be uh, speaking and I would love to get to know you and meet you. In fact, the first group of people that walk into the room uh, where I'm teaching uh, will receive a copy of my book uh, as my gift to you. So uh, there's one more reason to come. I'd love to get to know you and find out more about you and how uh, we can even work together. But Mark, um, you've been doing this for quite some time. Maybe tell one or two uh, transformative stories or things that you've seen at a Freedom Fest that have really made big changes uh, in the world or in people's lives, and then we'll wrap it up. Well, thank you very much. And, you know, I see Freedom Fest as an intellectual feast in the entertainment capital of the world. We do it every summer in July in Las Vegas, because that's the most libertarian, free, free mind kind of conference. And there, there's things to do for everybody. Uh, and we wouldn't really do Freedom Fest in Vegas if it wasn't for the new Las Vegas that has five-star restaurants and five-star entertainment and just a wonderful opportunity in the evening. People are 24 seven very active. And the other thing that's really cool about Freedom Fest is we have no green room. There's no place for speakers to hide and they don't wanna hide because they wanna participate. So you, you'll be shocked, you'll be sitting next to Steve Forbes in a session, which I have done and others have done, uh, John Mackey and so on. 
they they enjoy meeting other people and they're not just coming in giving a speech and then and, and then just taking off but i guess my favorite uh story is the steve forbes story who the first time we invited him uh he agreed to come and i was talking to jackie his secretary and he said you know uh, can he come uh, and spend all three days uh, at our conference? Oh, no, Mr. Skousen, you don't understand. Mr. Forbes is a very busy man. He'll come in, he'll give a speech, he'll sign a few books, and then he leaves the same day. He's out of New York and back to New York in one day. So sorry, he can't do it. One week later, Jackie called back and said, uh, Mr. Forbes has looked over your schedule of your conference. He's changed his schedule to be there all three days. And John Mackey is the same way. Most of our speakers are there to not only be a speaker, but do be a participant. And I think that, that that's the, the wonders, the beauty of this conference that's so important for people to understand. And um, we, have, we have been doing it for uh, over 10 years and uh, we just get bigger. We have several thousand people. Lots of people meet new friends. We've even had a marriage at Freedom Fest. People <laughs> fell in love and got married the next year at Freedom Fest. So there's all kinds of activities to do. And I'm really looking forward to spending time with you and our other great speakers. You know, we've had, we've had William Shatner before as our keynote speaker. We had George Foreman. Uh, we had um, Donald Trump himself in the campaign who, uh, who has spoken. So we always have some very big name keynote, keynote speakers that are not necessary political type of people. I'll never forget, I know we're running out of time, but the George Foreman story is a really good one because he's not political. Yeah. He tells a wonderful motivational story, but at the end, he took questions. And one of the, one of the people asked a political question, what do you think of Black Lives Matter? Mm. And George Foreman said, you know what? I grew up with nothing. I was poor and I became the heavyweight champion of the world. This is the greatest country in the world. Wow. Wow. And what a way to answer a politically charged question. Amazing. Amazing. So Freedom Fest, I would highly encourage you, listen, as you're watching this video, as we wrap this up, I just want to look you in the eye and just say this. When you look at our nation, when you look at the world, uh, there is a tendency to be a little tense uh, and start to feel a little bit like things are getting out of control. They're not. There are people who have good intentions and good hearts who are moving into places of leadership right now. And you're going to meet those people at Freedom Fest. Look, the difference between a country going in the right direction and going off track is the people, okay? It's not the person at the top so much, it's the people uh, that Abraham Lincoln said the government was for uh, and by, and this is you. And so your job as a citizen of our country or of any country uh, is to get involved in the process and that process starts with your thinking. It starts with the way you process information. It's not black or white. Uh, it's not uh, good or evil. It's beginning of a, a thought process where you start to see the subtle nuances uh, and the ideas that certain people have and the validity inside of those ideas. I want to challenge you to think differently. I want to challenge you to get out of your comfort zone of watching the news uh, and get into an abundance-minded community at Freedom Fest where you can learn some amazing things about politics and economics and government uh, and social media and marketing and entrepreneurship and more. I certainly would like to get to know you as well. Uh, so if you have the chance, please do click the link below. At least check out the event. There is a coupon code there that gets you a nice discount. That's a really uh, a generous a gift that Mark has given you. So Mark, thank you for your time. I'm looking forward to seeing you this July as usual uh, up in Las Vegas. It's going to be an absolutely amazing event. I know I'll be there. Uh, any parting shots? All I can say is uh, your, your comment reminded me of George Washington's statement that government is a dangerous servant and a fearful master. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Freedom Fest is about a little bit about everything. And even if you're not interested in politics, we have investments, we have healthy living, science and technology, great debates. Uh, it is really an intellectual feast. And uh, like one person said, uh, you know, Freedom Fest does not just ride the wave, it invents the wave. That came from John <laughs> Fund of National Review. They all come, we, the whole idea of Freedom Fest is to bring together everybody in the freedom movement. We all live busy lives, but let's come together once a, once a year. That we can do. And I'll end with Ben Franklin, who uh, made the, the warning sign. He said, 
that we must all hang together or we shall surely hang separately. Yeah. At Freedom Fest. Thanks a lot. Ed. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Listen, click the link below or in the description on this video. I would love to see you there. Invest in your future, invest in your nation, uh, and invest in hope because there really is hope. So thank you, Mark Skousen. I appreciate you, man. I'm looking thank forward you. to seeing you in July in Las Vegas, and we'll talk to you soon.